Now, earlier this year, we reported on the potential closure of three libraries in Nottingham. Amongst those against the idea was the writer and poet Henry Normal. Now, he's behind hits like Gavin and Stacey and Alan Partridge. And Henry's been touring the city's libraries as part of the Nottingham Poetry Festival. I went along to meet him and find out why he's on a mission to keep all libraries open. Where can individuals not cut out to be cutting edge, blinded by screens and increasingly isolated, still come together. An ode to libraries by a writer behind some of TV's greatest comedy shows. Henry Normal, who grew up on an estate in Bilborough in Nottingham, says it was a visit to the local library as a boy that changed his world. Now, my dad wrote a rally, my brother wrote a rally, uh, and um, so, you know, my life seemed mapped out that, that I would basically work hard and then die. Uh, that, was, that was the plan. So uh, to, to go into a library and see all the different worlds, and let's say every time you get a book, it's a different world. And to see all the different worlds and think, I could maybe create a different world for myself. Henry is so passionate about libraries that he's been on a tour performing at 13 across the city as part of this year's Nottingham Poetry Festival. But Henry worries about their future. The City Council is considering the closure of three local libraries, including this one in Radford and Lenton, because of financial pressures. We're combating depression at the moment, we're combating crime and everything. Um, it's alienation that causes a lot of these things. We're always talking about bringing communities together. Well, where are we going to bring them together? Um, I think uh, all the libraries are a great place. A migraine defined a generation of stressed out kids who took pocket knives to trees to carve out their legacies. It's also a worry for young poet Connor, who says there aren't enough places for young people to go to. Books can be quite expensive and not accessible for everyone. So they do that, the internet access on computers. And I know that libraries have run homework clubs in the past and things like that with support for people that don't have access to it at home and things like that. So they are an integral part of a lot of people's lives. Nottingham City Council have now closed a public consultation and are due to make a decision in the autumn. I think we should put more money into libraries. I think that's the, the thing. Nobody ever says that. Um, I think what we need to do is, is to use a space like we're doing today uh, so that more people get engaged, so that you will turn around in a few years' time and say, but why would you even consider shooting a library? Henry Normal there, behind some of my favourite TV shows. Um, I'm wondering if we can end on a note of agreement, possibly. Uh, do we agree in the need for libraries, Heather? Yes, and the community-led libraries are absolutely fabulous. And if that's what Nottingham City Council need to sort out, then I hope they do. And Vernon? Oh, of course, local libraries are essential. Nottingham uh, City Council are investing in the new library in Sherwood and the new library at the Broadmarsh. Uh, but as we've heard there, there's consultation about the possible uh, potential closure of three libraries. And uh, I hope the City Council will listen to the public consultation. Local libraries are really important, yes. Yeah, and a decision has not been made yet no. on that. Um, no. And I just wonder, you know, we heard from Henry how it really opened his eyes to different worlds. And I no. just wonder if that was similar for, for either of yeah. you. Yeah, I used to go and do my homework down at the library. Absolutely. Yeah, well, I'm an experienced politician, as you said at the beginning, and I remember paper tickets and the <laughs> stamp uh, when you were at the library. But li local libraries are, are fundamental and they're mm. a really important part of any community. So let's mm. hope that as many as possible can stay open. Yeah, but I guess the question is, where can we find the money for them? That's what's well, been debated. Well, that's why the community model is really quite yeah. clever. And that uh, you, you, let's make sure the community really do understand how important their library is and come together and help run it. And it has to be a priority for, as, yeah. alongside other... There's obviously competing demands, but yeah. certainly, it, it, as far as I'm concerned, it should be a priority for councils, as long as they can afford it alongside other things. But it is something that's important to keep open. And I think what local people would want. Yeah, and one of the things out of the pandemic was that there was a rise, I understand, mm. in e-books that mm. were being yeah. loaned. Just wanted last book that you read, Heather? Oh, crikey. I couldn't tell you. 
I really couldn't tell you. I'm afraid I, I read submissions from my private secretary. That's my nighttime reading. I'm sure that's uh, <laughs> riveting reading. Well, thank you for that. I'm glad you didn't ask me. It was a political book. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is all we've got time for. Uh, thank you so much to my guests, Lord Vernon Coker and Heather Wheeler, and sharing their literary choices as well. That's all we've got time for. All. We'll be back next Sunday at the same time, though. From all the team here, have a lovely Sunday. Goodbye.